Hola y buenos días de Oaxaca, Mexico. This is Ayana Mojica, Wisdom Medicine Woman. And I am sharing more on the solitarian journey, solitarian energy, the breatharian energy, the breatharian journey. I am so excited about this topic because first of all, it's a topic of light. And the more you focus on the light, there's more and more light, more and more light comes, more and more the light expands. And it's just one of the laws of the universe, the, what you focus on grows. So I'm really excited about this because, uh, also I'm, I'm excited because of the response. I'm excited because of the response from you. You're asking questions. You are uh, curious, you are engaging, and your engagement is actually drawing out more and more of the teachings that I have been storing up for, gosh, for a long time, probably since my early, uh, yeah, my early life. So anyway. Today, in this video, this is uh, a second video where I am answering questions. And I want to keep my videos short. So here we go. Here's the next question that came from one of my friends on YouTube. Do you drink water sometimes or just completely sustain on source? As far as for myself, me, because <clears throat> I speak from my own experiences, and when I'm speaking about something else or someone else, it's I've researched it, and I know it to be uh, true, quote unquote. I've researched it. So I'm not just, most of the time, my teachings are from what I personally have experienced, and I believe that... Uh, sharing my personal experience helps so many others. So, do you drink water sometimes or just completely sustain on source? I have been reignited, reactivated on the solitarian journey recently because of uh, um, my engagement with Elitom Elamin, the breatharian who's been sharing the message on uh, on living on the solar energy. And he shares it all around the world, and especially in India. They love him in India. They have a high regard and a respect for him there. The Western world has been slowly catching up to the message. But Elitom Elamin came to Oaxaca, Mexico, and we had uh, several times where we met and talked and the vibration was just so high, the conversation. I was so delighted to have that conversation at a high level. So we were able to meet at that same level and have this engagement in this, this conversation. And at the more he spoke on, the, you know, the solar Terrian journey, which I believe he coined here. He actually uh, was inspired to share that here in Oaxaca, Mexico, because we have so much sun, right? So when we were sharing and talking and sharing with our audience, I realized that I was being reignited, reactivated onto the solar Terrian journey because I had been initiated. I had been initiated in the year 2009 by Grand Master Lutian Dashi of the Tian Gong tradition. I sat under his teachings for a whole week. I'm going to tell you that story another time. It's just an amazing, beautiful story, and it will encourage you to know that the living on light is totally possible. So in that sit, sitting with him in that week, uh, I didn't know, I didn't know I was gonna receive this infusion and this initiation and activation 
in what he called Bigu, B-I-G-U. Bigu is a Chinese term in this Tiangong tradition. Bigu is the same as prana, qi, the, the breatharian journey, the, 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 all of that. I didn't know that I was receiving that, but that's what I received, and that was my activation. And it was also uh, uh, just my, it was not only an activation initiation, it was a confirmation that we can live our light and that our bodies can, can literally transmute into pure light. So that's going to be another topic, another day, another video. There's so much to share on this. It's just so powerful. So do you drink water sometimes or just com completely sustain on source? For me, for me, and then I'm going to encourage you for you. For me, I have had supernatural experiences where I did not eat or drink anything for 40 days and 40 nights. I will share that story in another video. I have experienced that personally. It was supernatural. And so my answer is that Yes, you can sustain, completely be sustained on source. I have done it. <clears throat> I did not eat and I did not drink water. I did not eat any food. What I did eat, <clears throat> excuse me, I found out later on, I was eating the light. I was eating scriptures. The, the scriptures I were reading from the Bible became illuminated and spirit began to uh, teach me uh, and feed me sacred scriptures. When I wasn't reading the scriptures, I was in feed. I was literally light was all over me. So I was eating that light. There has been other times when I was guided to to initiate fasts, fast with no food and no drinking, and I have done that for um, from anywhere from a week to 21 days. I do not recommend that you do this unless you are advanced and you have uh, checked in with your health, chosen health practitioner. I was gifted to do it. it it was pretty phenomenal, and I'll be sharing more on my fasting journey, my solitarian journey uh, in more videos. And that's why I'm excited. So please ask your questions. Please comment. Because when you ask your questions, I'm going to answer them. The universe is going to answer your questions. Ask your questions. Um, comment below. Have you ever been on a fast? Have you ever not drank anything, not, not taken any liquids and not taken any food sources? If so, what was your experience like? Let's have a conversation. When you have the, when we have the conversation, it, it ignites the information and ignites all this between us within our community. And then more and more people become inspired to eat more light. This is about becoming and being the light being that you really are. This is more than fasting. This goes beyond fasting. This goes beyond um, meditation and prayer. These are all tools for you to be your most radiant divine God being here on planet Earth, shining in light, empowered by the source, the pure source, and also going deep within and tapping in to the internal sun, the internal source. 
So I thank you so much. I encourage you to please put a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share the video, share the information, tag people, uh, ask questions. We're beginning to build momentum, support. Thank you to those of you who have sent in financial support. I'll put that link in because the more we're supported, the more we can create a, like a huge network and channel like this is a channel. This is the Ayana Mohika channel. And it goes out. It goes out and you never know. You never know how your question is going to inspire somebody all the way across the world to become more their radiant self by eating more light and releasing those dense, dense particles. So much to share. I'm so excited. So this is Ayana Mojica, Wisdom Medicine Woman, broadcasting from Oaxaca, Mexico. I send you beautiful, beautiful blessings to you today and every day. And be blessed in your slice of paradise. And so it is, so it is, and so it is.